There are three factors in ball striking which always come together in any shot. So those three things are, first of all, how high is the arc? Does the club miss the ground? Does it brush the ground? Or does it take a lot of ground? Then we have how far away from you the arc is. Is the club finished further away than you started? Closer than it started? Or is it spot on exactly where you started? And the third one would be where the lowest part of your swing is relative to golf ball. So is the lowest part of the golf swing before the ball and then up into it, which would generally create ground before ball or just missing the ground and hitting top portion? Is it directly under the ball, which again, doesn't really leave you much room for error? Or does the club come down, hit the golf ball, then the ground, down into the ground, then back out the ground? So where the lowest part is, how high the arc is, and how far away from you the arc is. You can practice all those things as a, as a skill concern without changing your technique. And that's often the easiest way to improve your ball striking. So, for example, one exercise we can use is the tee heights. We can start off here. Can we clip the top of the tee peg? Can we hit the middle of the tee peg? Can we hit ground and tee together? We'll show you a, a slow motion of that. Is your arc correct distance from you? So can you miss outside the tee deliberately? Can you miss inside the tee deliberately? And can you hit the tee deliberately? So you've got those three. And then you have, is the, the ground striking, the, the, the ground being struck before, at or after the golf ball? Now you can use just a couple of tee pegs for that. Any, anything for a frame of reference, ultimately. So whether it's a couple of tee pegs in the ground, or you could use a um, couple of other golf balls, any, any markers you have. So the ball would be between those two lines. And if you set yourself in, do you hit the ground before, at, or after those tees? And the evidence will be in the ground. Where, does the, where was the ground brushed? Can you see the pile of the grass being hit in different areas? So those are three great ways of practicing the skill. Um, and if you work on those continuously, then you'll start to see an upgrade over a longer period of time. You'll see some definite improvement in the strike. Ultimately, knowing what you have to do is important. With an iron, we like ball then turf. With a driver, you can get away with on the downswing, but for most distance at least, for trying to maximise distance, ideally on the way up is better. You can't actually measure that unless you use TrackMan or, or, or radar that's actually measuring the way the club comes through impact. So the ground is why we've gone with an iron today. It's easy to reference. You can see where the ground struck relative to the ball. And it's a really simple measure for you. So give it a shot, give it some time. If it's, if it's five or 10 swings every single time you go and play golf, it'll accrue quite a bit over a longer period of time.